explanation. All right, so as I said before, oh dear, it's here. As I said before, yeah, with a prefix such as un for a mute, you create a new verb with the opposite meaning. With a suffix like ish, you make big mean biggish. Again, an adjective, still an adjective, but the meaning is quite different. It means more or less big. More examples. If I say, Edit, yeah? To edit. How would you say to edit two times? Re -edit. To re edit. Okay, so to edit is a verb. To re edit? A verb. a verb. So the type of word is the same. How about the meaning? Is it the same or different? Yeah. The meaning is different. It means edit two times. Okay, have a look at this one influential. Influential or lucky, yeah? Somebody is influential, somebody is lucky. Give it some more uh, intensity. How can you make influential more intense? Okay, hyper influential. Luck, oh sorry, lucky. Lucky. Super lucky, for example, yeah? Super, a super lucky person. Influential, what is it? An adjective. Lucky, what is it? An adjective. How about super lucky, what is it? An adjective. So the word category changes or remains the same? It remains the same. How about the meaning? Is it the same or different? It, the meaning gets intensified. Yeah? So with uh, prefixes such as hyper, super, or ultra, yeah, the meaning gets intensified yeah this prefixes intensify the meaning of adjectives okay now spam spam what is it what word category is it it's a noun yeah it's a noun spam is a noun if i want to say this website this website is very How can I make it an adjective? This website is very spammy. This is a very spammy website. Spammy. What is, what is, okay, actually, I'm only adding Y, okay? Y is the prefix. Here I just have to double the M, yeah? But this, the suffix, yeah? The suffix is this one. This is a suffix. And now the word category, what is it? Is it still a noun or is it changed? It changed to an adjective, yeah? So, adding Y to nouns, this suffix creates adjectives. From spam, spammy, yeah? There is a lot of spam uh, on this website. This website is very spammy, yeah? Another, another example, for example, uh, uh, amateur, yeah? Again, amateur. This website... Uh, the creator of this website is an amateur. Is this a noun, a verb, or an adjective? A noun. This is a noun, yeah? And if I want to describe the website, oh, this website is very amateurish. Again, what is amateurish? What is ish? Ish is a suffix. What is amateurish? Is it still a noun or something else? An adjective. It becomes an adjective. Yeah, it means that this website is more or less for amateurs. So, what is the lesson to be learned? With suffixes such as why, with suffixes such as ish, you convert nouns into adjectives. Nouns into adjectives. So far, so good? Okay, uh, how old is Jesus? How old is your English teacher? Is he 30? Is he 40? I don't know. I think he is 30-ish. What is the meaning of ish here? More or less, More or less about 30. I'm not sure. I think he has used your English teacher. I think he's a bit older. I think he's 40-ish. Again, what is ish here? More or less. So the meaning of ish or you can say 20-ish, yeah, perhaps. Yeah. So the meaning of ish is more or less 
when added to a number, yeah, when added to a number, yeah, the meaning of ish is more or less. You can also apply it to apply it to adjectives. For example, have a look at uh, what is the name of the influencer? Adela. Dulceida. Dulceida. <laughs> oh, sorry. I think Dulceida is a really, really pretty influencer. Well, she's pretty. So she's more or less pretty. How would you say that? She's pretty ish. Yeah? She's pretty ish. Yeah? Again, what is pretty? An adjective. What is pretty ish? An adjective. What is the meaning of ish? More or less. So far, so good. Okay, next. If I say uh, user or disaster, well, let me give you some, some suffixes. Friendly, prone, proof, resistant, savvy. Okay, let's create some examples. A website can be user friendly. You can also say that Chueca is a place which is Chueca, Chueca in Madrid. Chueca is mm -mm friendly. Gay friendly. Chueca is gay friendly. Yeah? It's uh, welcome. It welcomes yeah? gay people. Gay friendly. User friendly. Okay. Prone. A person can be disaster prone, as you say, as we, as you said before, as we read before. A disaster prone person. You can also say, what is the opposite of a disaster prone person? A success prone person. Yeah. Proof. Uh, if you buy a camera, a uh, GoPro camera, you can put it under the water. So it is. Waterproof. Uh, if you buy some special clothes, firefighters have special clothes. Those clothes are fireproof. 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 Okay. Uh, something can also be water resistant. Yeah. Resistente al agua. Water resistant. Waterproof. A prueba de agua. Yeah. Savvy. We said tech savvy. A person can be tech savvy. If a person is very good at business, that person is business savvy. If a person is very good at, uh, for example, social media, you would say that person is media savvy. So what are these? These are suffixes. And what do they do? Uh, is the word category the same or different? The word category is different. Noun, adjective. So, noun, noun, and the whole thing is adjective. Noun, noun, and the whole thing is adjective. And the same with all of them. So, the word category changes from noun to adjective. From noun to adjective. And the meaning changes. Any questions? This is the end of the explanation. Let's do...